Ever wonder what the f is inside a cowboy boot? Howdy, I'm Will, founder of Chiso's Boots, and today I'm gonna take this saw, cut open these boots, and show you who's doing it right and who's cutting corners. Let's get it. When I set out to learn the boot making process, one of the first things that I did is I took my boots and I cut them in half. A big part of my understanding of how a good boot is assembled. And so today we're gonna do that on camera. We're gonna cut open three boots from different makers and find out exactly what each one is made of. Now, what we have here is an entry-level boot, and after we cut it open, you know, for the money, it's it's not a bad option. You know, one of the things I like about it is it has a hung lining. That's a nice touch, but that's probably where most of my compliments are going to end. They're not using a full leather heel counter. Now, the heel counter is the structural integrity focal point of a cowboy boot. This is why they last for 40, 50 years, is that leather will give and take and it will reshape with your foot over time and allow you to resole the boot. However, they're using just a layer of Solastic here. I think it might be a double layer for that hardening. It's gonna become brittle. That uh, lack of elasticity will then actually crack. And once it cracks, the boot's shot. You won't be giving this to your grandkids uh, in your will. Now, when we cut through it, uh, you can see here that you know they're using compressed cardboard, I believe, here for some of the main body. There's a single layer of foam, which is essentially all that you're gonna get in terms of cushioning. And that's covered uh, just simply by about a millimeter's worth of, of leather. One thing I want to take a closer look at is this shank. I was a little surprised at, at how easy it was uh, to cut through this. It starts out as, as steel and then it's dipped in some sort of uh, a resin, you know, a synthetic. The durability is going to be a little lacking here. You know, I can tell that they're using uh, a canvas ribbing here to connect the welt to the rest of the boot. Standard and big factory made boots, uh, but it's another point of failure if you're going to be using these hard. Um, so overall, you know, verdict on this one is that it's it's a decent boot, but you know, it just isn't going to have the durability you might expect from a higher end product. All right, so what we have here is a boot that's from a legacy brand. When we ran it through the saw, you know, it put up a bit of a fight, which I was impressed with. The upper here is glued in. You've got your exposed uh, seams and stitching on the inside, which typically don't like to see. That leather doesn't follow down. They're using a cheaper lining leather here, and you've got a about a few millimeters of foam on the inside, but that's all you're getting in terms of comfort. The leather on it is extremely thin. Um, now, it doesn't necessarily mean it's not gonna be pliable, but it is gonna cut down on some of the longevity and durability of it. Now, one of the things I do like about this boot is the heel counter is full leather. That 
that's absolutely a good sign of a boot. And then we get to the shank, completely dipped in plastic. Uh, and when cutting into it, then it actually broke loose. Uh, so, you know, connectivity to the rest of the boot, perhaps a little lacking. One thing I don't like is that they're using the canvas for the welt. Uh, that's again, going to let in moisture and be a point of failure, but standard and factory made boots. Now you will notice that there's nothing else here in terms of uh, cushion. I mean, you're, you're standing on essentially hard leather on concrete or on rocks, depending on where you're wearing them. So, you know, that's going to then, you know, be, be hard on the, on the joints and, and the lower back. I'm excited to talk to you about the Chisos number two. So let's take a look at what it's made of. The first thing you'll notice is the insoles. I have been wearing boots uh, my whole life. And one of the things that I continue to have problems with is how uncomfortable they were. And so that's what I tackled first. You have 11 millimeters of comfort and cushion. The bottom layer on the heel and the ball of the foot is impact dissipating gel. The strikes when you walk is absorbed by the material or actually absorbed by the rest of the boot itself. Above that, we have the next layer of primary support. Some other boots use memory foam, but in my experience, it actually collapses. And so we use a little bit different. It's got a little bit more rebound to it. One of the things that happens, uh, your feet trying to balance is they're making minute adjustments every second. So if you have a footbed that actually adjusts to the shape of the feet, it reduces the need for them to try and rebalance, which then of course reduces fatigue. And when you're on your feet all day, that matters. The next thing I wanna highlight is our leathers. So we use a premium leather lining on the inside and then our exterior leather, which we treat to be soft and, and supple and broken in the day you get it, but it's still thicker than any leather we've looked at today, which brings me to the full leather heel counter. The idea of a cowboy boot is something that you can beat up and you can wear hard and it'll last you for decades. And that generally comes down to how is the heel counter constructed and how are some of the other seams constructed. A full leather heel counter like we have here allows the boot to adjust to your feet over time so you get a custom fit but then allows you to resole and replace the heels as we go down. We then have an extra thick interior vegetable tan leather uh, traditional insole. Now this is something you'll see on boots made 40, 50 years ago. Um, not so much today, people are cheapening them. A couple of things I wanna point out on the durability aspect traditional channel weld. We have a small workshop and there's just a few guys who still know how to do channel weld into the leather insole and peel it back. They sew leather to leather. Uh, it's extremely durable. One thing I want to point out here is that the shank, it's 18 gauge steel, but that again means that you can beat the hell out of this boot and it can take anything you can throw at it. The thing that sets Chisos apart is we've gone back in time and looked at the most durable ways of boot making, and we've married that with the past 40 or 50 years of knowledge gained in terms of how to build comfort into footwear. And the combination of these makes the best damn boot that's on the market today. Thanks for watching. You can find us at chisos.com on all the social medias, and we still answer our phone. Y'all take care, and we hope to hear from you soon.